Hello again and welcome back to the genome tour. Today we're going to be taking another look at the Y chromosome but from a different perspective. This time from chimp to human. In the last video we compared human to chimp as we navigated um, homology and we drew the synteny lines from the genes on the human Y chromosome to the homologous genes on the chimpanzee Y chromosome and we found 14 genes um, 14 human genes with no homologs in chimp we also found several human genes with homologs on chromosomes other than the chimp Y chromosome and we also found substantial a substantial rearrangement of the gene order between human and chimp um, in today's look, we're going to navigate from chimp to human. So we're just going to turn it around in order to see what we missed last time. Um, namely, genes that are on the chimp Y chromosome, which may not have homologs on the human Y chromosome or elsewhere in the human genome for that matter. So we're just going to turn it around to get a, um, a better look at the other half of the story the part of the story we missed last time. Um, so we're going to jump to the region at the top of the chimpanzee Y chromosome. And uh, here we are, the first gene, um, 3, 4, 4, 2, 6, is going to pop up on the synteny map first. We're here at the top. Uh, this time in the center, instead of the human, we have the center gene is, uh, I mean the center chromosome, is uh, the chimpanzee Y. Uh, from the top and um, again you see the same thing as before where the lines are crossed because the um, gene order is um, just completely rearranged and um, the red line showing um, the comparatively inverted regions um, as opposed to the black lines which are um, roughly are going to be roughly the same gene order and over here is uh, human um, chromosome number seven. Um, I don't remember, however, looking through um, the homology navigation that I actually saw a gene on um, uh, chromosome human chromosome number seven. If you clicked on this right here, it'll take you there, and then you know you can take a look there. But we're not going to do that right today. Um, or if you clicked here, you could get the same inf information um, where you could jump to the human um, chromosome number seven to this region here and do a comparison uh, you could do um, different different comparisons if you wanted to look at the region in detail uh, for both genomes and uh, see how they line up see what genes are there uh, we'll, we'll uh, hopefully later on we'll take another look like I said Today we're just uh, going to navigate homology through. Um, we've got no uh, upstream homologs here. The very first gene we looked at, 34426, is right here with, um, interestingly enough, here we go again, no homologs in human. Um, we're going to go downstream 15 genes. Okay, so um, that's one. We're just going to count them. Um, Oh, actually, this is the same one. Okay, so um, down 15 downstream. So we're on the first 15 genes with no upstream homologs. This is the same gene, the first one we looked at with no homologs. So that's the one we already looked at. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Downstream, 15 more. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, downstream, 15 more. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and downstream the last 14. Twenty. So is that right? We got twenty uh, genes now. Um, in the pantroglodytes or chimpanzee genome on the Y chromosome which show no homologs on the human Y chromosome or elsewhere in the human genome. Um, and you'll notice also just be sure that um, they're drawing line, uh, we're drawing lines not just from the chimpanzee Y chromosome to the human Y chromosome but from the chimp Y to the to to the um, homologs anywhere in the human genome. So, for example, we're going to pick up on uh, this one here. Um, this one on the human X chromosome, and also um, as we noticed before, we looked at um, one on the human chromosome number 11, if I remember right. Um, we weren't really looking for that in the first run through. So I'm just backing up now. Um, now, what what I'd like to um, do, I guess just some simple math, from the last time we saw 14 genes in the human um, Y chromosome that did not, yeah, here it is, the LSP1 gene on uh, the chimpanzee Y chromosome, which um, maps to um, human chromosome 11. So when we add the 14 genes from the previous video um, that were present on human, that were um, that showed no homologs in chimp, now we show 20 genes in the chimp genome, which show no homologs in human. So the basic math is 14 plus 20. So we have between the two combined, you have 34 genes, which simply don't, you're drawing the lines and there's no lines to draw. So um, uh, that's just a huge homology problem. Um, and, and I don't know why this doesn't come up. I haven't heard it come up. Uh, I've never heard anyone bring it up uh, before. And, and as we um, take a tour of the genome, this is the sort of problem uh, that... Uh, it's a problem. Actually, it's a, uh, it's a problem for evolution, to be sure. If you're going to say that homology shows common descent, then um, then we have a problem because there are quite a few genes and we start looking at these genes and they're not small, they're not tiny, and they're not insignificant. They are, um, some of them are, are, are rather large genes, some of them aren't. Um, and the only thing that I've heard in, in response is that they're junk. And if um, you want to assert it's a negative assertion. It's actually an assertion from ignorance. Because if you don't know what the gene does, how do you know it's junk? Anyway, um, we'll um, pick this up later. Um, thanks for watching. We're going to be picking this up later and looking over um, some of the palindromes. Uh, one of the reasons why we have... Um, One of the reasons why I have a problem with human and chimp having a common ancestor 
is when you begin to look at the structure of the Y chromosome, the palindromes um, are, are actually rather significant simply because any rearrangement is going to break apart these palindromes. And when you have a, pal a palindrome that's 3 million base pairs long, then in order to maintain the integrity, any sort of um, mutation is going to affect the balance of the palindrome. And um, these palindromes are simply too large to be explained by common descent. Um, anyhow, thanks again for watching, and we'll pick this up again um, in the next episode. Thank you.